guys welcome back to my channel um as you can see by the title we have a big ass haul i'm just going to adjust the light in a bit is that better yeah that's better right i've got a shed load of stuff not not unusual is it um i'm just going to show you a picture i just took a picture on my phone of the uh amount of stuff i've got on my bed can you see that i've got a camera set up just there nothing professional but yeah that is my um this is what you're gonna see uh, i've got a shed load of stuff it's not all makeup some skincare some hair care um some tk Maxx stuff some shoes some earrings so yeah i'm gonna get started because this is gonna be a long video uh, right the first thing I'm going to show you is it's just a box actually but I will show you I've got the actual item behind me <clears throat> I was so excited when I saw this in boots oh, I couldn't believe it I'd seen quite a few youtubers like reviewing this and I was just like I want this I want this it looks so cool um, the item I'm talking about is the style pro makeup cleaner brush cleaner if you like um, I mainly actually use it to spin my brushes dry because I use the normal method of the solid soap and making them all nice and clean and then I'm just sick of letting them dry for hours and hours and hours so this even if it doesn't dry them dead on which it does some of the brushes um, but the thicker brushes take a little bit longer but I can spin a majority of the water out and then I can uh, just stick them in the airing cupboard or something I've got an annoying piece of hair Right there, you see it. Ugh, I thought I'd got that this morning. Obviously not. Let me just correct that because it looks ridiculous. Ouch. Gone. Um, so I'll show you the actual thing, what you get. This is it. It's so cute. You get like a little bowl and you get your spinner and you get all your little um, different bits and pieces to put the brushes in. I literally store it on my makeup counter like that up here um uh, yeah i love it so if you want me to see uh, if you want me to do a demo or a review on that just let me know obviously there's loads on youtube already but if you want to hear my opinion then carry on whatever sticking with brushes um yeah i found something in primark i mean i love primark brushes anyway but i found this one which is i think it's called the sculpting brush is it sculpting sculpt and glow brush um it actually comes like that it's double ended this is um the bigger brush i had obviously and this is the softer one the little one it's uh £2.50 as you can see there i have three of them now because i i got this one and i used it and i was just amazed by it so i went out and bought two more because they're only 250 and oh, i just wanted that it was they're so good i literally use this end this is dirty by the way um, I use this end to buff the foundation in and I use this end for my concealer so it's amazing like for a little travel makeup bag as well because it's double ended obviously and it's amazing so I'll show you that one first then I picked up from eBay no Amazon I got a couple of powder brushes all the way from China these are gorgeous <laughs> one is obviously still in the packaging which you can see here um, but this is the brush in question and it's just beautiful so it's it doesn't shed it's absolutely beautiful a bit of brush porn for you there oh, it's so soft on the skin it's so soft and I love the handle the metallic silver sort of feral and oh, it's just so nice and I think this was something ridiculous like £1.35 with 99p postage from China and so yeah it works out about £2.35 and I love it and it's so soft and it's just really nice for applying powder or finishing powder or anything like that so I picked that one up and that is gorge then I jumped on the unicorn bandwagon as you do because there's mermaids and unicorns everywhere at the moment um, I didn't want to pay, pay expensive money for these I mean I have got let me just show you the brush I have got already let me just get it down um, I picked one of these up from savers and I love it absolutely love it um, it's just like the multicolored sort of uh, what do you call this bit feral um, and yeah so I love that one but then I saw these on Amazon and I just thought oh why not it's so cute look 
and they've got the old multi-coloured unicorn horn they're beautiful i mean they're not the best brushes in the world they're soft they don't shed they, these come from china as well by the way uh, so the biggest one is this one and it's you know it's not dense but it's amazing for bronzer or blusher and oh, I just love it. they're just so soft i just don't know how they make them for this price this set i do believe was something stupid like three pound 95 with three pmp i don't know how they do it i don't know how they do it but that's the biggest one so as you can see there that's a bit better there um so that's the biggest one and then the next size down again would be brilliant for contour or blush or something like that i just love the handle i just think they're so cute i mean the mermaid and unicorn thing is going to phase out isn't it? it always will but i love it this one would be ideal for highlight um or under eye setting again beautiful handle uh then you've got the next sort of the smallest big one if you like um i just love the colors on look at the colors oh it's beautiful i think that one would be used again for contour or something and then you've got three little ones so let me just put those ones aside so you've got this one the little eyebrow or eyeliner brush um you've got a lovely little blending brush which is blending brush What's a brush? Uh, brush to do your contouring and stuff on your eye, and then you've got your little shadow brush. But the handles are beautiful, and I thought, why not? Jump on the unicorn bandwagon, why not? I've got a few more things like that as well. The next brush set that I bought <laughs> made me laugh when it turned up. I usually, when I get stuff off of Amazon, let me just grab my other brushes. I've hauled these in the past before. This is this is my brush bag, by the way. This is full of brushes. Um, I'm a brush hoarder, makeup hoarder, whatever. Um, usually the sets that I have bought in the past have come sort of... Say, let's have a look. Oh, here's that other unicorn one. Um, say like this, you know, they come... That's a Wilco's one, but there you are. So they're sort of that size, normal brush size, you know, and they come in like sets of 10 and stuff. You get five eyes, five face brushes. And I saw these ones and I just love the teal colour of them. I just, I love teal anyway. I think it's beautiful. So I thought, oh, why not? And when they turned up, because they obviously show a close up picture, don't they? <laughs> oh God, this is ridiculous. When they turned up, I had to laugh because it didn't say anything about them being mini or anything like that. But they are Diddy. Oh, they're so cute. Look. Oh. And she drops one. Uh, I, get, I mean, the quality of the brushes, they haven't lost the quality at all. Let me just um, show you the face brushes first. These are pretty ideal for travelling. They're amazing. <laughs> Look, they're so small. They're the size of my hand. Look. Oh, they're so sweet. So you've got your flat top kabuki, which is, you know, you can do foundation and stuff with. You've got sort of a, a rounded top kabuki if you like then you've got the angled one and you've got another angled one don't know why need two angled ones and then you've got the little sort of pencil brush large thing but i mean they're just so cute i mean look at these things aren't they just oh they're so cute but it's the color the color attracted me and i ordered two of these because i thought you know i could do one for a giveaway or whatever or maybe not i don't know so that's how they came and when i opened them i thought oh they shrunk shrunk in the wash but yeah so that <laughs> these was i think these were 6.95 for the set could have been even cheaper don't know but that's the five face, br face brushes and then you get the little eye brushes which actually are quite good so you get your little stiff pencil brush but it is very very stiff so i'm, I'm not sure you'll be able to like do under eye setting with that or whatever but um yeah so that's the small one then you get the three or the four large ones so i mean they're very very soft though so you'd still be able to like you know do your crease so you have that one angled then you have the round top again so soft and they're not really dense so they're good for buffing then you've got like your angled whatever and then you've got your big this this would be ideal for buffing out stuff so yeah i'm not I'm not mad at them, to be honest. They <laughs> they are quite cute, but I didn't expect them to be that small. So that's that. 
Um, sticking with the brush theme, I will show you the ones I picked up from TK Maxx. Oh, so these are by Precision Blah, Blah, Precision Beauty. Uh, face finishing set, sculpt and buff, sculpt and buff for a flawless finish. These were seven ninety nine, and I just thought these were lovely, so I picked these up as well. That's what they look like. I have taken them out. They are very nice. This is very similar to the uh, Real Techniques buffing brush. This obviously self-explanatory is a fan brush, and this is a setting brush. Seven ninety nine. So I couldn't resist. I thought they were lovely, so I picked those up. Chuck them in the bag. I might as well chuck them in the bag as well. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, what else? Brush wise, did I get anything else brush wise? Don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. Right, so that's the brushes out of the way. Let's now get the earrings out of the way. So I've got a pair in already from this set, but this is, I've given my daughter one from this set as well. Um, these are like sleepers and the front and back ones. So you put it through and then the back bit comes through. This is what they look like. Obviously, like I said, I've had a few off of there. Three pound for like nine pairs of earrings is just ridiculous and they're good quality i have worn some of the sleepers i've got them over here i can grab them that's what they look like they're just oh they're just so sweet um but getting them back on this packaging is a nightmare so i picked those up and then i picked up a couple of birthstone ones and i got ones for my two older daughters uh, for january and february they look practically the same but i picked up my ones which I do believe are topaz, or supposed to be topaz, obviously, and they look like that. Again, they're front back earrings, um, and they've just got the most gorgeous sort of ambery colour, which is amber topaz, which is what my birthstone is. And then I got my mum some for her birthday, and these are June, and they're just they're beautiful. They're pink. And you can see the colour. They're pink, and they're just pretty. And I just like the front back ones because I just think it's such a good illusion. So that's that. Um, do, 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 do. Prime up, prime up. Should we say prime up? It's just going to be random because I've just piled it all on my bed and it looks like a god awful mess. So I picked up some more tweezers from Primark, a pound. And again, these have got the new marble theme. Everything's marble at the moment uh, marble, mermaid, and unicorn. So that's those ones. And they're like marbly. You get the slanted ones and you get the pointed ones. So they can go over there. I uh, picked up another pencil sharpener in the rose gold it didn't have to be rose gold it was just the one that was in there um so i picked up that one that's got the double the, the bigger hole and the little hole so i picked up that too some bobbles because you know you always need scrunchies i have to have scrunchies in my hair at the moment because my hair just falls out so these are just quite loose scrunchies and they're nice to just put in your hair it doesn't leave too much of a mark and they don't rip your hair out so i picked those up um i also picked up some shadow shields um big ones and small ones apply under eye before applying makeup to catch excess product that falls which is you know cool but i would probably use these to get the the sharp line but yeah these you see those they're there so that's them again they're only one pound fifty absolutely ridiculous um all oh, right sticking with primark i picked up a cleansing mitt these come as a pack of two but i've got one in my bathroom being used at the moment this is very similar to the microfiber cloth that takes your makeup off comes like this it's quite handy actually because when you're washing your face you can pop your hand in it and you've got control so you've got like a microfiber side and you've got like an exfoliating side very nice actually to take uh, masks off and stuff like that which i will show you because i've got some of those as well uh, so that's good for taking the excess soap and stuff off your face then i found these i've got one again going in the bathroom but i picked up two more because i just thought they were amazing um, so if i can find them ah there he is now i can't pronounce this sorry for the extreme close up i can't pronounce this this is a, a konjac konjac sponge looks like this it is absolutely solid it feels like a bit of coral um, but as soon as it gets wet it goes really soft but it's also soft but rough if you know what i mean so it exfoliates you can put your cleanser on there scrunch it and you give yourself a good old cleanse oh god it makes your face feel so soft 
oh, so soft. Um, so I picked up another two of those. Uh, again, they're £1.50 and I've already got one going. If you want to see a demo on how I use it, please comment below because I will do that. I'm trying to think of some video ideas here. So that's that and they're all £1.50. So I've got two of those. And blah, 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 blah. Uh, picked up a couple of masks from Primark. These are the Photo Perfect Selfie Ready Skin Face Masks. So I've got one in anti blemish, which is green, so it makes your face look like the mask when it's on. These are three pound fifty, but you get quite a lot in there. That's the anti blemish one, and uh, no filters necessary. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, this is by Crichton's, which I do believe Poundland do a few things from Crichton's, Crichton's or whatever. So you never know, you might find them in your Poundland eventually. But that's the Photo Perfect Face Mask in anti blemish. That is, like I said, green. And this one is the Tired Skin Detox, which is God, what I need on a daily basis. But I think this one's purple. Um, let me just open this one. Because I had a look at the anti blemish one, but I never looked at it. Yeah, this one's purple. This is like a grey purpley colour. Um, so you put this on, leave it on for 10, 15 minutes until it sort of dries. It's like a mud. And yeah, it's supposed to make you... Face photo ready. Uh, wake up and move on is the <laughs> caption on that. I love that. Wake up and move on. So, yeah, I will do a review on those as well. I've got so much to do reviews on. But, yeah, I will do a review on that. If you want to see it, give me a thumbs up. That's amazing. What else did I get from Primark? Oh, yes. Primark, Primark. Primark makeup. Right, I got, again, jumped on the mermaid unicorn bandwagon. These are either face paints or lipsticks or whatever you want to use them as but they're like face paints these are the shimmer sticks and i have got again i've got two packets well, let me just find the one that i've got so let me just take them out because you might be able to see them a bit better if i do that they're actually stuck to the cardboard which is quite good she says they are honest would i lie to you God sick man. Right, so this is what they look like. They are beautiful. They're very sparkly, they're very shimmery. Let me just give you a rough idea of some of them. There's a gold in there, which I don't particularly like. But let me just show you a couple of them. These would be brilliant lipstick toppers as well. So this is the silver. Literally you just Can you see that? Can you see? Full on silver lipstick. Um, the green one and the light blue one I am in love with. So let me show you those. I actually wore the light blue one out the other day. So this is the light blue. They're pigmented as well. Pigmented as F. Which is cool. Um, and this is the oh, this is the mermaid green one. I mean personally. I would just wear them out because I don't care. And the last one I really, really do like. You've got a purple one. You've got a dark blue one. Pink, gold, silver and like graphite. This is the pink one. I wore this over a lipstick the other day, which looked absolutely beautiful. So that's the pink. Can you see the pink? I'm hoping you can see them because like my lighting is shit. Um, so that's those. I've got two of those, like I said. I always buy two of everything. Don't know why. It's just a bad habit of mine to buy two of everything. So they are the shimmer sticks from Primark. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, stick that one back over there for the memento. Then I got two actual lipsticks, which are a bit mental as well. Again, these are all the unicorn mermaid thing. Um, so one is called, I actually don't know what this one was called. Oh, these are called Pixie Kisses. Um, they look like this and they look like that. Oh, beautiful. Again, these change colour. These are like colour changing ones. So, so this is like light blue, but it changes with the pH of your skin. And mine sort of goes a pinky mauvey colour. Beautiful. Wore this again the other day. But it's got a ton of glitter in it. 
and you know i don't like the smell of primark lipsticks a little bit rough um, and this one's pink and it actually does come out pink so but again it's a different pink to everybody's ph there you go there's that one there again i love them i'm quite happy to go out with that on my lips it doesn't bother me at all so that is that let me just wipe this off i am back right so that is that oh primark primark what else did i get from primark oh yeah i've got this how can i forget this it's beautiful this is the pure go pure glow palette oh it's gorgeous i think it might be a dupe for like anastasia palette or something but this is what it looks like on the inside and they are gorgeous the two darker ones i would use eyeshadow i have actually used for eyeshadows but this is one it's called desert and this one is eden oh. just you might not be able to see but that oh, you can see them glowing there look at that so that's that one yeah and then i will show you the two darker ones which are glimmer and firefly these are just like oh, this one i've used as eyeshadow and it's gorgeous so let me just swatch those two for you oh, sorry about the lighting guys there you go so that's that oh my god swatch city over here I'll just spray that off right so that's the pro, pro pure glow palette beautiful um then i got what did i get a mermaid holographic nail polish from i think this is the insta girl one i'm not sure um you can't actually see it but i've got it over my thumb nails primark um i've got it over my thumb but i got that that's just like holographic it looks really iridescent and holographic and beautiful so i'll pick that up and then oh i got my handy old um my favorite oval cotton pads because they're essential uh i've got a couple of perfumes well i say perfumes they're not really perfumes well they are dropping them everywhere these are like the little perfumes Eau de Parfum, so they are strong. Um, I got Mango Passion, which is that one there. And it does. It just smells like pure up and up mangoes. Oh. Mm. It smells like a mango smoothie. So I picked that one up because that is just gorgeous. Love it. But my favourite one is Peach Tea. They are so strong. That they just stay on your skin oh just smells like you've been into a peach it's just beautiful it smells very if you like um lipton's iced teas their peach tea smells exactly like that with a little bit of musky perfume added in so that is that one absolutely love it beautiful so that is that I think that is all from Primark now. I think. So the next thing I'm going to show you, I think, I don't know if I hauled these last time in my haul, but um, Little Miss Star Guru, the lovely Vinny, had these in a haul of hers, and I thought I've got to go and try them because she just raved about them. These are the um, Layering Lab perfumes. They sell in Surfer, surfer Drug. <laughs> Super Drug. Um, you can literally layer one, two, three, however many you want. I have already got Gourmand and Oriental. And then I went out yesterday and I purchased Cocoon. This is the vanilla one. You can layer this over either of those two. and it, oh, But this on its own is just beautiful. As a rule, vanilla isn't my favourite perfume scent. Even though it's in a lot of perfumes that I wear. But some can be a bit sort of heady and this is so subtle it's so subtle it's like you just opened a wall's ice cream for the first time and you just get that hit of vanilla 
Um, so I've picked that one up as well. These are, well, they were $1.99 when I got the first two, but now they've gone back up to $2.99, which is still amazing because they last all day. It's literally like they are a perfume oil. They last all day. They stay on your clothes. I have washed my top that I sprayed with the Gorman one last week. I got it out the wash, got it off the line. It still smelt of it. <laughs> gorgeous right so that's that now uh should we go poundland now poundland yeah poundland so from poundland i picked up a garnier gentle soothing face wash which is that one there um all skin types dermatologically tested for oily no not oily for daily cleaning without drying skin which is amazing so i picked that one up i will give you a review on that one when i have done it um sticking with poundland i also picked up oh no i've got that in factory shop <laughs> oh i've got some medigel for me gum me mouth also i got uh, uh, oh it really hurts um i just thought i'd give this a go really it's a bit like bonjella i suppose isn't it but it comes like that so i'm hoping it'll work i'm hoping it'll numb me gum because oh god it kills um so that is that also from Poundland, I picked up a body lotion and two antiperspirants. Oh, I keep seeing close-ups of my neck, I'm so sorry. So the body lotion I picked up was the Kame. Do you, does anyone remember Kame? Please give me a thumbs up if you remember Kame because my mum used to use that soap like it was her religion. The little Kame soap with a little um, cameo like lady on the front of the soap. I think it was pink and it smelt gorgeous but came <laughs> i've obviously come back this is the pure refresh body lotion moisturized smooth skin with a refreshing scent of grape and it is really nice actually i love it so i picked that up about two weeks ago and then i went in there yesterday and i found the deodorant yay so i got the came pure refresh antiperspirant with a refreshing scent of grape um in that one um, let me just get, I absolutely reek of like perfume now, but I'm just going to give it a quick spray. Oh yeah, fresh green grapes, beautiful. And then the next one I picked up was called Captivation. Doesn't say what's in this one, it just said with, with French inspired perfume. So I don't know, see if I can describe. Do hold on. I do apologise, my house phone was ringing. Please tell me, does anyone else hate accident claim lines? Why do they keep ringing me? How'd they get my number? It's X-Directory. Anyway. It's kind of musky. That worries me a little bit, though. See that inside there? White marks. Good God. Mind you, I did spray it really close. Um, yeah, kind of musky, that one. But they were a pound, obviously. No, they were 50p. Came is being sold for 50p in Poundland at the moment. So I picked that up. Um... I think, did I get that from Poundland or Savers? Could be Savers. Um, a Carex hand cream with antibacterial action, hydrate and protect. Pick that up as well because in my job, God, my hands need moisturising. Um, oh, body shop, body shop, body shop. Pick, oh no, hang on, I've got one more Primark um, item. This is the one I was most excited about and I've hidden it under everything else. This is the Mermaid Glow Highlighting Powder. And this is full-on highlight. Oh, it's beautiful. It's three pounds. It looks like that. Oh, look at it. And it's just... Your silver. Oh. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So yeah, I picked that one up from Primark as well. Totally forgot to show you that. Going off on a rant here. Um, so I picked that up. Right. Uh, Poundland. Oh yeah, Poundland. I've got a couple more things. I got that back and that, didn't I? Yes. So I've got a couple of hand masks. You know, like the little gloves that you put on. Because my hands get so dry. Obviously because I'm a home carer and all I do is wear like vinyl gloves. Just dries your hands out big time. These are nice and squishy. They've got lots of moisturising stuff in them. So you put them on. Um, again, this is a peach peach extract. 20 to 30 minutes you leave them on your hands. So please make sure you don't have to do anything when you put these on. Because 
yeah not nice these have got shea butter honey and other natural antioxidants to quickly and effectively penetrate protect and nourish for improved skin tone and texture so i've got two of those and then i got a book from Howland. i got a book i love vampire things anything like that that sort of horror vampires zombies stuff like that but this book said it just jumped out at me because it said if you like true blood which i do and there's stuki and um I can't think of his name. There's Suki anyway, and the vampire. Oh my god, what's his name? Ah! Is it on here? Is it on here? Is it on here? Oh, do you know what? I can't remember. I can't I can't remember his name. That's how much I love True Blood. Anyway, I picked this up and it says if you like True Blood, this basically just gives you vampire facts about other different things. <sighs> interesting read i just thought and my daughter saw it she went oh mum look true blood so i picked that up i'll let you know how that goes uh a super drug i think no yeah no body shop let's do body shop first i picked this up from the body shop yesterday my daughter came home from the weekend at boyfriend's and she'd been shopping and she went to the body shop and she discovered this almond milk and honey range that they brought out i don't know if it's new because i haven't been in the body shop for like ages but it just smells divine oh it smells divine it smells like it oh it's softening the body butter was a little bit too rich for me so i got the lotion but yeah 48 hour lightweight moisture it is lightweight once you rub it in you don't feel like you've got it on but you feel moisturized so that's cool um so yeah i picked that up these were i think eight pounds for the lotion and at the moment in body shop it's buy one get one half off so i picked that up then i will go to new look because i saw these in there about three weeks ago and i wanted to get them this is the flawless foundation and contour stick oh my god this is amazing absolutely amazing you get quite a lot of money these are 4.99 and at the moment they have three for two on all their makeup so you get in here for 4.99 that is how much you get um i've used this about six times already and well you can see how much i've used i literally swipe a couple swipe a couple swipe down my nose swipe the chin blend it in with the brush it's so creamy it's so easy to blend it is amazing if you want to see it get ready with me with this please let me know they only do about four shades but um you know they color match you they, they, they color match to your skin this is natural natural beige i've got there's a lighter one and i think there's two darker ones so natural beige might only be three colors actually i'm not sure 4.99 so i picked up three obviously because it was three for two so i got a shed ton of foundation for 9.98 which i was really pleased about so i I picked up this box from Poundland, which is also very handy. These little storage boxes, collapsible ones. So I think I might just use that to pop my makeup in. Because otherwise, I am going to just lose it all. Right, so I picked up that. Uh, Wilco's, I picked up a new Lash Princess Mascara. It's a new one, but it's not waterproof. But I put this under the other one. This is the sculpted volume one, and the brush is slightly different. That's, but again, because it's oh shit, because it's Lash Princess, it's very black. Um, because it's Lash Princess, it's a uh, quite a good one. I love that anyway. I use the green one, as you know, the waterproof one. I absolutely adore that. It's beautiful. So I picked up that. I picked up loads of these because these were on three for two. No, these are on two for ten in Superdrug. My favourite under eye concealer. I love this one. It doesn't crease. It doesn't go all crappy under my eyes. Just beautiful. So I absolutely adore that. I think I've got four of them. But I've hidden the other two somewhere because my daughter likes them as well. Uh, so that's that. Also from Superdrug, I picked up the new Eco Tool sponges because so many people have been um, on YouTube with these, reviewing them, and I just wanted to see for myself. They feel really soft, and apparently they double in size. So um, heavy coverage. 
yeah they're basically saying they're heavy coverage sponges um so they don't soak up a lot of foundation but i will be doing a review on that because i can't wait to use that picked up a couple of moisturizers as you know in my last haul i hauled the um l'oreal and garnier <sighs> cleansers and toners one in rose and the l'oreal one is in white flowers i think something like that um, but i picked up the garnier skin active um moisturizers now i picked up the rose water one to go with the rose that i've stuff that i've already got it's absolutely beautiful and it must have some glycerin in it somewhere because it does feel leave your face yeah glycerin um it does leave your skin moisturized but not too overly like oily but it does leave it slightly tacky so it's amazing for a makeup brace base base not brace so i picked up that one and then for night time i thought even though it's a daycare cream i thought i'd try the hydrate and nourish honey flower one um, I haven't actually got the honey flower cleanser and toner, but I might actually get that one because it's quite nice for evening, get a bit more moisturisation. So I picked up the honey flower one as well. That's that. Another moisturiser I picked up, I think I got this from Factory Shop, and this is the Revu, Revuel, Revuel Beauty and Care Cell Regeneration. Yeah, all right. Uh, day cream with argan oil this was two pounds so i don't think it's going to be like hell amazing but it's not bad i have tried it a couple of times comes in a nice big tube you get 50 mil um so i picked up that also from super drug i picked up this because i've seen this on the internet quite a lot as well this is the cetaphil oily skin cleanser this is amazing i love this absolutely amazing reviews it removes excess oil without drying gentle foaming action soap free i use that with my little um oh, sponge that i showed you earlier get it all nice and wet wring out the water squirt a couple of pumps literally a couple of pumps of this get a nice foam action going and just cleanse my face i love this this is going straight back in my bathroom so i'm not putting that away um also from Superdrug, i picked up a couple of scents perfumes uh, two new ones from so we have Sheer Illusion and we have Dark Romance. These are lovely. I love the So Perfumes anyway. They're like so inexpensive, but they're beautiful. So I picked up those. From Amazon, I, again, Amazon made me buy it. YouTubers made me buy this. I've seen this so everywhere over the internet. And this is the Dermacol Foundation. Now, I first saw this on... Oh, Marina Petro's uh, channel. She purchased this months ago. She's a makeup artist. She's got beautiful skin anyway. But she purchased this just to review it and she loves it. Um, then my uh, another one of my favourite YouTubers, The Taylor. She um, tests foundation all the time because she's got cystic acne and she needs to cover it. And she loves it. She purchased this. She's very, very pale about two or three shades lighter than me i would have said she's very pale and she went for the shade 208 so i thought i just guessed it and thought well i'm a couple of shades darker um i'll just go for 210 i ordered 210 absolutely perfect it's what i'm wearing now obviously um you can't really see because this camera is crap but uh yeah it's beautiful i love it you literally don't need any tiny little swipe either side top bottom and on my nose and it just blends it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel cakey and i love it so if you want a review on that please let me know it's beautiful um let's go for another thing from super drug this is the new nivea silk mousse shower cream it's mousse obviously but it's um like a really moisturizing shower mousse so i picked up that uh, oh god i've got to just go over there for a minute i didn't purchase these but i have done in the past my daughter gave me these two because she's picked up some new shampoo and she didn't want to use this one anymore this is the ultimate blends mythic olive this is beautiful love that she also gave me this which was an unwanted christmas present Oium is my flipping all-time favorite perfume I absolutely adore this. This is the most humongous bottle. Oh my god. Oh. So yeah. That was um an overseas purchase. Obviously that's why it doesn't say alien properly. It does there. 
Um, but yeah, Kiri Mugler perfume is beautiful. So I love that. Uh, coming towards the end now, I think. I'm going to do my shoes and trainers right at the end because you probably won't really want to see them. TK Maxx, after I bought the brushes, I saw this and I was just like, oh my God, I need it. I couldn't believe, oh God, Jesus Christ. I couldn't believe the price of this thing. I think my good, lovely friend here on um, YouTube, Lisa, Spacey's number one girl, I'm pretty sure that she has got these and she raves about them. So I thought, my God, I'm going to just pick them up. And they were reduced from 20 to 7.99, which is fine. Um, and then they were reduced again to six pounds. Oh, look at them. I have swatched some of these and they are beautiful. Beautiful. So, yes, I picked up that. That was the best, best bargain of the day, I think. I think you get one, two, three, four. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight pencils, eight model zone pencils for six pounds. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Right, the last two things, body wise, I've got to show you. I saw this in Superdrug and it just, it, I just thought, wow, yay, gonna have some of that. So this is Bubble Tea, Bath and Body. I think this might be Superdrug's kind of own make. These are bath tea bags. Bath tea bags. Look at these bath tea bags. <laughs> you literally run your bath, drop a tea bag in. It says there, look, don't drink me. I love that. I think that's amazing. You get eight. No, ten. Ten 40 gram tea bags. So ten baths. Or 20 if you're being frugal. Uh, 10 baths for, I think this was 5 99 Oh, it smells gorgeous. This one is uh, bath infusion tea bag. Summer fruit tea. A delicious summer fruit blend of ripe raspberries, raspberries, strawberries and blackberries with a twist of white tea. I am going to take a bath at some point this week. I'm going to put one of them in and I'm going to give you a full review on this because when I saw them, I was like, I want them. I want them. I want them. And the only other thing that I've got to show you makeup wise, body care wise, whatever, is something that I'd seen advertised on TV. I've seen it advertised on TV for ages. Um, I have the eye mist because I can't stand putting drops in my eyes. So I use the Optrex. Um, I revive moisture mists. You do it on closed eyes, leave them closed for a minute, it all seeps in and it oh, just really moisturizes your eyes. But I saw this and I thought I want that. Um, not bad. You get eight eight masks for $9.99, which I thought was really good. And these are the warming eye masks. So literally you put them on your eyes and they warm up, they're self-warming, and they create a steam underneath that steams your eyes um in just 10 minutes so yeah i was like i need them in my life i think everyone needs them in their life really so yeah that's that oh can't wait to um sort them out and i will give you a review on that as well so that is all the makeup and stuff body care whatever out the way now all i'm going to show you now is some shoes that i picked up so i've got a pair on let me just get them off these are pep and co Gold mules, gold mules, gold mules. These were six pounds, I think. Very flexible, which is what I need because I don't like stiff shoes. And they're beautiful. So I picked those ones up. And then I also picked these up. These were also six pounds. Like little open toe, open side mules. So I picked those up as well. And then these were in the sale for four pounds fifty each. These are just like your average, just little faux leather mules i've got them in brown i got them in black they're very comfy and i love them and yeah that is it 45 minutes later that is it so yeah if you want oh no there's one pair of trainers hold on i only forgot these are primark ones um i've got these in gray as well but they're down there and i can't bother to get them these are like really soft mesh trainers as you can see when you've got your foot inside them you can see your toes, but they're so breathable, they're so comfy, and I love them. 
and these were on sale for six pounds so yeah i got them in pink and gray so that is it guys that is it my haul so far <laughs> If you want to see a review on any of that stuff, I mean, I'm going to do reviews anyway, but if there's a particular something that you want to see a review on, please let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the little subscribe button and then click the little bell next to it so it notifies you of when I upload a video. Um, and yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you all in my next one. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.